Jared Poland Fronos photo.com and here we are with the critique from the weekend of the 14th and 15th where the theme was up close and personal let me just remind you one more time please add us on facebook on twitter on and you can subscribe to youtube as well as google plus it's a great place to stay in touch with what we're doing and interact with me as often as we can ask your questions do all that good stuff and go from there. So yeah, thank you for doing that. And the new theme for the next week is F8. I talked about it in the top five. If you haven't voted, please be sure to click over there to go and check out the top five. But let's get into the critique. So here we have a shot from, it says, uh, Arms 2D. Uh, I like this shot. I was close to picking it for the top five, but it, it just... You know, it's a it's a cool shot for macro. We know that macro gives you that very shallow, you know, depth of field, that that straight line across. Um, I liked it. I liked the concept, but I just thought it was missing something, a little bit of something, and I can't put my finger on what it is. But it's very very close, and it's an honorable honorable mention, and I definitely do like it. So let's move on to the next one. Hello, I'm a dog. Wee! I just thought it was a cool angle for the dog. It's like, pet my belly. I want to rub my belly. Anyway, I, I liked it. Cool angle, looking straight down. The focus is here on the nose. So if it was going for the eyes, it was missed. But I thought it was cool. Like a, a dog, you know, I, I'm assuming that the dog was moving, which makes it really hard to focus. So it's probably not your fault on that. But I just thought it was interesting. Wanted to show it there. This was cool. Uh, that's from... What's it say? Captain Cranky. Captain Cranky. And then this next one is from Delfoys. Uh, basically said, I think his girlfriend went and made a cutout of me out of paper. And it's really cool with the camera there. I hope it says Nikon on it. It doesn't. It says Canon. Why did I pick this? Um, wow, that's, a, that's interesting. Look at the belt I'm wearing. I, I just thought it was a cool shot. You know, one, the creativity that went into it. Two, the lighting is really good with the reflection of the red, and everything looks really, really good. Um, it's cool, except for the Canon thing. Um, nothing. I will be buying a Canon sometime soon. Nice job there. Really like what you did. This is from Echo Tango, who's won a, couple, uh, uh, a little bit a while ago. All right, this shot's close. I like the fact that he's below the waterline. This is obviously at a zoo because he's probably, you know, you can see the distortion of the eyes and the water and the and the glass. What I want to see here is a more pumped up contrast image. I think that the the tone is too muted. It's too gray, and I don't think it it does it any justice. But you know, I think if it was pumped up more, it would look scarier. It would get rid of some of that haze. So going with you know, bump up the exposure, throw the black levels up, throw the contrast up, and boom. You've got a killer image with a killer, killer, I'm assuming that's a crocodile. Um, this is another shot that was close. It's from Echo Tango also. Um, maybe he was in the water with that thing. I don't, I don't think so. This reminds me of the river runs through it, but if the guy in the boat had a fishing rod and he was looking more towards the camera angle and you could see more of what was going on like what if he was actually doing something I think it would be pretty strong it also looks like it was taken at a very high aperture because it's it's in sharp sharp focus from front to back but I just think it's it's this oh here we go echo tango the editing that you did here is kind of what you should go for with the photo before this uh, see, this is uber duber awesome contrast, and this is uber duber flat. So that's what I would say for that. And nice job getting two shots up here. So yeah, moving on. This was the other shot that Fort uh, Fort Worth Photog did. I, I like it, but it was just the shadows on the face. I found the other one to be softer and nicer and cleaner. This is beautiful, of course, but I like the other one a little more. But I thought this was worthy of showing it. Um, it, it twins, it's, the twins are just amazing. Uh, definitely are. Um, I picked this one out because of something in the background. I picked it out because of the bed sheet that was used or the tablecloth. Here's something to keep in mind that when you fold things back up perfectly, they're going to get these, these lines. And those lines aren't that good for shooting photos because they're kind of distracting. So one thing you could do is you know, ball it up into a ball, and then you're going to have all these lines in the background so it's not just an even 
uh, smattering of fold lines. So that's just something to keep in mind if you guys are out there shooting with sheets and things like that. Make sure it's, it's ironed, it's flat, and you don't have those fold lines. I thought this was fun. We've got Disco Stew here with his I Shoot Raw and a Froho, uh, quote-unquote, from the girls. I guess that's what you could call her. I mean, I don't have a woman sidekick yet. Maybe one day. Um, I love how the fro looks like it's grapes. It's like, I've got grapes for hair. But I like that it's purple because that's what I wear. And when I say froho, the only reason I'm saying that is because that's what the girl called herself at CES. Yeah. Caca! 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 I just thought this was interesting that the bird flipped up the, the, the furred boot and then ate the furred boot. Um, I thought it was cool. Nice background, nice bokeh, nice color on the eyes, nice beak color. Nice job there. Uh, honorable mention. This was another tough choice. I, I wanted to put this one in, but I thought there was just something about the shadow and the focus, and it just... Uh, I didn't read the name first. This was J369C, and this was from Grant, uh, what's I say, G Manning. Um, so I just think that this needs something. Uh, I love the image. I love the shot. I like what's going on. I just feel that the processing, there could be something else done to it. Uh, but I love the bonding moment, the up close and personal feel of it right there. This is very up close and feel. Um, let's get it on. Yeah, yeah. And I don't know if this is real setup or what or done in a studio because the background is uber duber black. Um, I just thought it was interesting. Jeff, nice job there. Uh, I just wanted to point that out. Jeffrey, 1987. This was cool too. We've got a bunch of shell casings. I don't know what kind of weapon that is because I'm not a shooter. I'm not a hunter and I don't know anything about that stuff. But blowing the smoke in there, it looks like spent shell casings that were just fired. I mean, if this is really what it looks like when it's done, that's pretty cool. But if not, it's cool anyway as well. JV Dusa. Nice job right there. Um, squirrel! Oh, jeez, it's a deer. Um, and this Blackberry one was another close one, honorable mention, from Lasley. It's a very good product shot there's no reflection on the glass it's nice and soft uh it, it really looks good now i don't know if the focus you know it's right on the 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 main part of the image right in the middle <sighs> um, i don't know if i like that per se but i like the lighting and maybe more in focus would be better but it's nice and soft nice job doing this definite honorable mention right there this was another close one too i just wish i saw more of the kid and what he was doing but I like the color. I like the fact that the you know the exposure is correct with the windows right there and the blinds being closed. I love the muted color. I love shooting in situations like this and I also love that Buzz Lightyear is in the back the background. Uh, so it's a cool shot. It's close. Um, I just think it's uh, it's lacking a little bit of you know, the emotion, because you don't really get to see the kid. Maybe if it was done from more of a side angle, more of a profile, it could give us a better look at things. So that's why that one is uh, just my critique for that. This is close, too. I mean, it's it's interesting. It's up close and personal, but it's, ah, it's you know, it's it just lacks something in terms of interest. I, you know, it definitely is up close and personal. I just wish that it, it did something more. Uh, maybe seeing the girl, you know, at a lower angle, shooting below the shooting below the desk you get the hand with the crayon with her face out of focus in the background i'm assuming it's a girl based on the clothes uh, if i'm wrong then i'm wrong but that's my recommendation for that shot um this is interesting too from shutter twins i you know i'm very i don't really like the selective color on a lot of images i just don't find that it's you know i think it's too easy to do now and i think that it's it's very gimmicky um with that said, I think this probably would have worked better in color, more so than just the glasses being red and everything else being not there. So I would like to see this one in color. That's my own personal opinion, and I'm sure some people would like it this way. Uh, this Brad Pitt-looking photo is interesting. I just don't know why it's not really sharp, and I think part of it may be because it's really cropped. Um, a real long way. It's it just you lack that, it lacks the detail in the face. I like the concept. I like the color a little bit and the blue eyes. It's just that there's something about the clarity that's missing and that's part of the critique is trying to figure out if it's from cropping, then it's just showing that that's way too cropped. Um, up close and personal, I wanted to pick something like this, but again, it's very up close and personal. It's done very well. Um, it just, 
it lacks some major, major interest. You know, their fingernails, it's up close and personal. It looks interesting. But, you know, I don't know if you, if most of you guys agree with me on that, but it's, you know, it's a great shot. I'll say that again, and I'll give it an honorable mention. I just feel that it's lacking some sort of interest. There's like It lacks a dimension unless it's for, you know, somebody who's into fingernails and things like that. Um, this was a uh, bottom of a glass with, with uh, uh, candy in it, so I thought it was interesting. I also thought maybe it was blown glass, but I read the description. It talked about being candy. So it's very creative. Nice job there. This shot is strong. I probably would have liked to have picked this for the top five, but there are some things that hurt me here. The processing, awesome. The, the, the image, great. The thing that kills me are the fingers being cut off. I mean, I know he's holding a saw, but the fingers being cut off down here at the bottom throw me off, especially with all this headroom, just with the angle coming down a little bit. And, and is the hand cut off? No, you don't see the hand over, or is this the hand on a glove right here? That's cut off too. Um, I'd much rather have this cut off over here than this cut off. Uh, just come down, bring that angle down a little bit more, and then also try a tighter shot that follows this headshot type of frame, both horizontal and one vertical right there and I think that would work well it's a close shot but I you know that's that's my feedback on that and that brings us back to the beginning don't forget the new theme is F8 have fun with that shooting Friday Saturday Sunday Monday Tuesday you have until Thursday to post as well as vote for the top five from this week uh, for all well, from the week of the 14th and 15th where the theme was up close and personal thank you guys very much for watching don't forget to add us on all these social places definitely facebook and twitter and always subscribe right here on youtube that would be great and we will see you later have fun jared poland fronosephoto.com see ya